Hello amazing leaders and welcome to day 72 of the amazing 90 day challenge. Today's topic is planning is everything. Now that comes from a quote from Eisenhower and he said, plans are useless, but planning is everything. Now an amazing leader friend of mine, he changes that slightly. He said, plans are useless, but planning is gold dust. Now whichever version you use, that gold dust one sort of sticks in my mind a bit more. Um, how do you take that comment, that quote? Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with it? What type of a planner are you? Do you plan often? Do you plan in detail? Or do you fly by the seat of your pants and don't really spend any time planning whatsoever? Maybe looking back at some of the things that we've done, maybe this last week, maybe even yesterday, uh, what type of plans did you set that worked out well? How, were there plans that you set that didn't work out at all? And this is where this phrase and this quote really comes into its own because sometimes we set out a plan and the plan is perfect, but it all changes the second anything else gets put into the mix. It was Mike Tyson that said, everybody has a plan until they're punched on the nose. And that's a really good way of looking at life as well. How often do you have to change your original plan? Is it something that evolves, something that just goes through your day, or is it something that you really try not to change? And, and why don't you try and change it? Is it because you think that your planning and what you set out was the best way to do it, or because you're stuck in your ways and you don't want to change it because somebody else maybe have a better idea or a suggestion? Maybe think about this, who's the best planner that you know? And it may not be somebody that you know personally, it might be somebody in the media or somebody in politics or a past teacher or a parent or a family friend, it may be a coach or anybody. Who is the best planner that you know? It may be a totally fictional character, you know, somebody on, in the movies or in a book that you've read. What did they do that would give them that title from yourself of the best planner that you know? What was it that set them apart from everybody else? Was it that they had a very strict training regime, that they never missed a day, that they always had the same format to every day, no matter what was going on in their personal lives or in their business? What do you do to plan for your day? When does that planning start? Now for some of us, it might be we plan in the mornings for what we're going to do. It might be that we spend five minutes the night before planning that next day's worth of activity. Now if you do that, if you spend five minutes the night before just thinking about it, writing it down, looking at your calendar as to what you've got to do that next day, your brain will start working on things whilst you sleep, getting them in order so that when you wake up, you're in a better position to tackle that day because you've planned, you've invested just five minutes the night before. So maybe that's a habit you can do. Maybe that's an amazing 90 day challenge you can set yourself, is to spend five minutes each night before you go to sleep, setting out what you're gonna do that next day. Now I think we have to get the balance right. I've worked for some people in the past that would spend all their time planning and not actually doing anything. And that is so frustrating. Frustrating for people around them, frustrating for those that don't want to plan at all, that's their total opposite, someone that just plans and plans and plans and never does. So get the balance it right as well. Also there's people that are fearful of those that just go in gung-ho and don't really have a plan in place, we're just gonna sort it out as we go along. Those that like to plan, even a little bit, don't like that approach either. So you've got to get a happy medium somewhere. Maybe you would get a team around you. Depends on what it is that you are going to you know, be looking at and planning. Also think about the outcome. How much time and investment does it take or should it take in planning for the outcome that you're after? If it's just what you're going to order at lunch, then that doesn't take that much planning and that much time. But if it's going to be the whole transition of the next year of your business, then you might want to spend a bit more time thinking about that and getting it right. Often as well with planning, we come up with things that uh, we don't even think about because we're spending time in that planning stage. Try and think of the unusual things, the, the curveballs that will come in. Try and think of the benefits as well by doing something different. What else will happen from that? And I don't know about you, but I'm often surprised that when we try something new, there's additional benefits that we didn't even think about because we've done it a different way. 
So I'd encourage you today, if you're not a planner, start planning. Maybe put that in as a something you do every day. If you are an over planner, maybe get that in check as well and balance that out so that you reduce down the amount of planning time to the amount of doing time and focus on how much planning should I put in for the outcome that's going to be happening at this point in time. So I encourage you to go and plan your day today if you haven't already done so and then look at it at the end of the day and think how well did that plan go and remember the quote from Eisenhower it said plans are useless but planning is everything or planning is gold dust. So I hope that's helpful I hope you'll have an amazing day and remember why be average when you can be amazing.